Hello friends and welcome back to One Earth Mushrooms. My name is Jared. Today I'm coming to you from a farm in upstate New York that I recently moved to. You're gonna probably hear chickens and geese and children and other animals making noises. Not even gonna apologize for it. I hope you enjoy. Today's video is about answering a question. This is a question I've had for myself one that I've talked about with other mushroom cultivators and is a comment that's frequently debated on the channel. That is the ideal concentration for liquid culture nutrients. And what I mean by nutrient concentration is how much sugar is in the water or how much nutrients is in the water that our mycelium is trying to grow in. I typically use 4%. The kits I sell online are formulated for 4%, but I want to do an experiment to see if there's a different or a more efficient ratio out there. Um, because I've heard anything from 2% up to 10%, so I decided I would do some testing to figure it out. Let me show you what I did. I started by filling each of my glass jars with 300 milliliters of water. It's surprisingly hard to get exactly 300. Next I added a pre-calculated amount of corn syrup. So you can see my table there where I've calculated everything out. Next, I added a magnetic stir bar to each of the jars. Put those jars onto a magnetic stir plate and stir it up. I put out a YouTube short the other day showing this because it's so beautiful. If you want to see more of it, go check that out. There's a few parts of mushroom cultivation that I just, when I'm watching it as I'm editing the video, I can't can't stop oohing over it. Okay, so I put um, tin foil over the tops here. I don't think it's that necessary, but since I'm doing an experiment, I'm trying to control as many parts of it as I can. Tin foil seems like one way to help with that. Next, I got my pressure cooker ready by adding some water to the bottom, placing all of the jars on the trivets, and then a 15 minute at 15 PSI pressure cook to sterilize. There we go, cooling it overnight. For this experiment, I'm using a liquid culture from my friend over at Mushroom Man Mycology. And this is where I get my liquid cultures and spores and prints and if I'm ever trying to get new genetics this is my go-to source. Uh, they also gave me some pretty great advice on creating liquid cultures and so you'll see some of their advice is baked into how we're doing this work here. Okay I put three cc's of that liquid culture into each of these jars and man just look at that mycelium float around. So gorgeous. And then back to the magnetic stir plate to mix that mycelium up with the nutrients. After that tornado subsided, I put them all up in the cupboard and let them grow for 21 days. Here's how they looked after 21 days. And it's kind of hard to tell who's the winner, but we're going to figure it out in a second. So I labeled six coffee filters and weighed the coffee filter with the string. This is to get me a tear weight for each of the filters. I bet you can guess what I'm gonna use these filters for. Wait for it, I just gotta write some stuff down here. Okay, I'm gonna use my coffee filter and my coffee maker to strain the mycelium out. It's pretty redneck, but uh, the lab equipment needed to do this with like photo spectroscopy or whatever is way too expensive. I don't have thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to use a coffee maker. Uh, poured it through the filter. Did my best not to 
run it over the edge of the filter. And then once I had all the mycelium in, I rinsed the jar out and poured that rinse water through the filter as well. When I do this experiment the next time, I'm going to put an exact amount of water in. I just kind of use an estimated amount here. Um, but I think next time I'm going to do 100 grams of water for rinse water and shake it up uh, with the jar to get every little last bit of mycelium into the filter. Okay, drain in out here. Now you can see I have all six of these little baggies of mycelium. Let them drip dry for a little bit. Actually, I let them drip dry for 24 hours and they were still full of water, uh, like pools of water. So I moved them over to my dehydrator, put them on full temperature and left it for 12 hours. They were bone dry when they came out. And then here's the big reveal. I measured each one of them, weighed each one of them. This is with a 10th gram scale. So it's accurate to within one tenth of one gram and wrote down all of the gross weights, subtracted my tear weight, and here is the chart that shows you the results. Let's talk about conclusions here. Okay, so here's my conclusion. My conclusion is I need more data. I don't have enough to call the shot on anyone here. It looks like that curve is continuing to go up but it may be slowing down a little bit. And there's other variables that I didn't really consider when I filmed this. I'd like to run this experiment again and use a few different ideas there. So one is I'd like to put it on a heating pad to keep a pretty even temperature throughout the cycle. This just grew in my cabinet, which the temperature varied quite a bit as I was growing this liquid culture. I'd like to also increase the scale all the way up to 16%. So with this test we ended at 6%. I want to go all the way from 2% up to 16%. So I think that's what I'll do in my next video. And then maybe later on down the road I'd like to do the same experiment with spores. So in this video we inoculated with another liquid culture. I would like to do an experiment down the road where I use spores instead. So I'm not going to make any promises for when that will be, just know that that is my intention to pursue in the future. And with that, I bid you adieu. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Okay, so I know I already said goodbye. There's two last things I wanted to say real quick. One, thanks to my friends at Mushroom Man Mycology. You guys really pulled this one together. I appreciate the culture and the advice. Thank you so much for the people watching. Give them a look. Their website's awesome. Great discounts, fast shipping, awesome products. Thanks, guys. Uh, second thing is go over and check out my website, oneearthmushrooms.com. I sell liquid culture kits there. Uh, the kits that you saw me use in this video are for sale there. I've also made some improvements on the kits, so they're going to be slightly different than what you see in this video. The improvements are partially based off of what Mushroom Man Mycology gave me in advice and also just what I've learned through my own experience over these last few years. I've also started including free shipping on every single order on the website. So if you're looking to grow your own liquid culture, head on over. I've also got some other equipment there that you might be interested in. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.